Hello friends, Sabha Shokat here with a lecture on plate tectonics. For a better understanding, I would like you to watch my lecture on structure and composition of earth. Plate tectonics refers to the form, arrangement and structure of rock masses of the earth's crust resulting from folding or faulting or it's the study of the structure of the earth especially of the formation and movement of tectonic plates. Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle. The plates act like a hard and rigid shell compared to Earth's mantle. This strong outer layer is called the lithosphere, which is 100 kilometers thick. The lithosphere includes the crust and outer part of the mantle. Below the lithosphere is the asthenosphere, which is malleable or partially malleable, allowing the lithosphere to move around. There are seven major plates. These plates are named after the landforms found on them. The seven major plates are African plate, Antarctic plate, Eurasian plate, North American plate, South American plate, Indo-Australian plate, and Pacific plate. The largest plate is the Pacific plate most of it is located under the ocean. It is moving northwest at a speed of around 2.2 inches per year. Some of the minor plates include the Arabian plate, Caribbean plate, Nazca plate, and Scotia plate. Developed from the 1950s through the 1970s, plate tectonics is the modern version of continental drift. A theory first proposed by scientist Alfred Wegener in 1912, expanded in 1915 in his book, The Origin of Continents and Oceans. Wegener didn't have an explanation for how continents could move around the planet, but researchers do now. Wegener proposed that the continents moved through crust of ocean basins. He noted how the east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa looked as if they were once attached. Wagner was not the first to notice this puzzle-like fit of the continents, but he was one of the first to realize that the Earth's surface has changed through time and that continents that are separated now may have been joined together at one point in the past. Wagner noted that the fossil remains of the same extinct animal or plant can be found across several continents that are now adjacent to one another. This suggests that in the distant past, the configuration of continents was different than it is today. Wegener postulated that throughout most of geologic time, there was only one continent, which he called Pangaea. Late in the Triassic period, which lasted from approximately 251 million to 199.6 million years ago, Pangaea fragmented. The fragments of Pangaea began to move away from one another. Westward drift of the Americas opened the Atlantic Ocean, and the Indian bloc drifted across the equator to merge with Asia. In 1937, Alexander Aldi Toit, a South African geologist, modified Wegener's hypothesis by suggesting two primordial continents, Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. There are three different types of plate boundaries, divergent boundary, convergent boundary, and transform boundary. A divergent boundary occurs when two tectonic plates move away from each other. Along these boundaries, earthquakes are common and magma rises from the Earth's mantle to the surface, solidifying to create new oceanic crust at mid-oceanic ridge. Earth's crust is created at such kind of plate boundaries. When two plates come together, it is known as a convergent boundary. The impact of the colliding plates can cause the edges of one or both plates to buckle up into a mountain range 
or one of the plates may bend down into a deep sea floor trench, making a subduction zone. A chain of volcanoes often forms parallel to convergent plate boundaries and powerful earthquakes are common along these boundaries. Earth's crust is destroyed at such kind of plate boundaries. In convergent plate boundaries, there can be three kind of collisions. Oceanic continental plates collision, oceanic oceanic plates collision, and continental continental plates collision. In case of oceanic continental and oceanic oceanic plates collision, island arcs are formed, whereas in case of continental continental plates collision, mountain ranges are formed. Himalayas were formed in such kind of collision. Two plates sliding past each other forms a transform plate boundary. Natural or human-made structures that cross a transform boundary are offset, split into pieces and carried in opposite directions. Earthquakes are common along these faults. In contrast to convergent and divergent boundaries, crust is cracked and broken at transform margins but is not created or destroyed. California's San Andreas Fault is a transform boundary. What is the driving force behind plate motion? Earth's tectonic plates are in constant motion. Their movement is driven by heat within the Earth. The deep Earth is very hot, while its surface is quite cool. This causes hot material within the Earth to rise until it reaches the surface where it moves sideways, cools, then sinks. This circular motion is called convection. Convection cells within the mantle drives the motion of the overlying plates. Relative plate motion means the motion of one plate relative to another plate. So at least two plates are involved. For example, the motion of the Eurasian plate relative to the North American plate. Absolute plate motion means the motion of one plate, such as the Pacific plate. For absolute motion, motion of one plate is considered only. The motion of the other plates do not matter in this case. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.